Hello, so this is my screencast for the RMI chat application that we did with me, Tiernan and Potty. Uh, so, as, as, uh, to run it, you have to start the server. Uh, the server starts and uh, it has a, an array list of clients that are uh, just uh, used later on. Uh, as soon as it starts, it initializes that client list. To initialize that client list, we make a connection to the database through MySQL Connect. But we basically just make a connection prepared statement result set to get all of those in the users. To my, the MySQL Connect is just a connection to the database with the driver, URL, password, and uh, the class. The chat server will then uh, get all of those users from the query select all from users, my, uh, select everything from my users. My users has a password and a username, my password and my username. So they do it right around. And it then just adds it to the client list and then it stores that client list for it to be passed on later into the account manager. In the account manager, it is used then here, uh, chat server client list. This client list is used throughout this whole uh, chat application to get a sense of who's online and then use those people who are online to, or who are registered. So for example, here we have an array list of active clients who are chat client interfaces. I will get to that soon. And then there's the chat servers, the user accounts of accounts and database. Below, I have a method to put all of those uh, to an array of strings, an array list of strings from accounts and from accounts and database and active clients to put them into strings because we were getting an auto error for a remote exception and no serialization, even though they were serialized. And the only thing we need anyway is the username. So when we're looking through the array lists, uh, we just get the name and then we get the object returned. So then we have the the next thing is uh, in the chat server is the fact that uh, it connects to the database. This is all commented code, it's not being run at all. But what it happens is that it creates a, a registry, a string registry URL and it, it gives you a port number and then just starts on that port number, starts the registry on that port number. Start registry is a, is a, it starts the, it starts the registry with the, it, lo it locates the registry uh, here. And um, it will call, it will show if, uh, an exception if there isn't one, if there isn't uh, a registry that we're looking for. And it will then uh, bind that registry to RMI localhost and uh, RMI port number to this machine. And on the uh, client registers login, wherever they start, they are starting with the localhost. They will have to put in a, type in the IP address of the server. We are putting, trying to put in the fact that they could add whatever the IP address was or in the port, but we just ran out of time. And then it just uh, goes through, and it, that 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 uh, the um, the chat the chat server is just started. So then, the next thing that the, that happens is. The, the, the user would want to log in, so they start the, or register login, and they are already uh, connected. They are that, uh, when you run the register login, it connects to the database to get that use that list of clients. So then you have your register login, uh, initialize your components, and then it just it goes into you have. Uh, as you can see here, you have a input box here and here. I would test, uh, play, uh, demo it, but my machine somehow doesn't run XAMPP for I don't know why, Windows 10, I suppose. But um, it then uh, you have to register. If you don't register, you you won't be able to log in. So you go right. So you're uh, whenever this uh, uh, window opens. 
you connect to the you connect to your registry you look it up look up this little registry and you connect to it uh, so then you can register or log in if you already are on the database you can log in if not you will have to register so register takes in the account service register uh, it it takes in the user input from here is username and here is password to go through this and uh, register with uh, with the with the register method on the account manager which is here and it just goes it creates a temporary user account user account is a takes as a password and a logged in and a username and it just goes uh, yes uh, so it goes when you're registering it goes it connects to the database and it inserts into my users whatever you are so you whatever you pass in as my username or my password it can adds you to the database it shows an SQL exception because if it doesn't connect to the database or if the database is down you can you it doesn't crash the whole client the login is similar but it takes the it creates a temporary user account with the username and the password that you pass in and if b is not null uh, then you want to keep going so you set B to logged in as true and then you print out uh, B has logged in uh, that's for just for debugging purposes but that's yeah so in in this account manager we also have register for callback and unregister for callback as well as send messages and do callbacks and private messages register for callback uh, it goes through everyone also yeah um, whoever is uh, lo uh, the account they will be added to the active clients as the new account and then then you will do callback to show all users that yes this person has logged in and uh, yes this person has logged in or and the same for when you log out you will just be like okay uh, user A has logged in or user B has logged out uh, sending message, uh, sending messages to everyone is pretty simple. What happens is um, uh, you take a, your active clients and you have uh, whoever sends the message calls it. So in your main chat, and the main chat, when you log in, you are shown here, and when you type in a message, you can. You create a client object, which is a ch uh, you create a chat impl client implementation, which takes in the user, which is the user account, and the messages display, which is this messages display for all the messages, the client list, which is the default list model, to display later on, and then it takes and then uh, whatever you pass into the message uh, field will be then taken and sent using the account service. Account service ma is the account manager and this is passed in here with the string message and it does call back to everyone so for everyone who's, uh, who's, registered, log uh, who's registered and logged in they will, get, uh, they will get a client which is client implementation chat client implementation chat client implementation sorry uh, yeah. Chat client implementation, and they will get a display notification, display message that everyone has logged in. Okay, so to the text area, which is the message is display. So then the same thing has happened when you press enter or when you hit the button. Uh, when you want to log out. Uh, you press the leave button. The leave button takes uh, uses the ma account manager, which is the account service, and unregister for callback. Unregister for callback uh, works on the same method as the same way as the register for callback. It just delete removes you from the active clients, and then it just tells everyone that a uh, whoever the user is has left. Now uh, we have a few things that didn't work. That we wanted to work and that we wanted to add mainly the private chats did not uh, go through we could we had a chat room store and it uh, which was on the client side and we tried to port it to the uh, main ch uh, 
we tried to port it over but we just didn't have enough time and we were getting strange errors potty was working on that and uh, what I worked on may uh, what I worked on was I made the whole GUI the, the whole GUI and the whole interface uh, design we worked on we planned together but I I implemented the whole GUI I made it and uh, when the guys gave me um, when they gave me the send uh, the login the register the send messages to everyone display users in the list as well as a logout and m notify everyone that you have logged in that's what I did I had to I had to uh, change the code around a, 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 a good bit to, for it to work in the GUI so that's what I did um, also we did uh, work together on a couple of parts uh, mainly the uh, me and Tiernan worked together on creating the chat room store uh, which was this we me and Tiernan worked together on this but we just d d ran out of time we gave this to Potty and he, uh, we just didn't have enough time to upload it uh, the other things was um, the other thing was we didn't have enough time to get the invites working. We kind of got the send message to one person working. However, we were getting odd bugs that the first person who ever logged in was getting everyone's messages as well as the people who were meant for. Also, whenever you send a message, uh, then any notification that, that you've logged out will not be sent to anyone which I tried working on and tried to figure out but it just couldn't I could not get rid of it and yeah that's um, yeah that's pretty much it um, thank you for listening